fellow neighbor has definitely experienced some changes. Hello, everybody. I'm Kyla Kean, and I hope you're prepared to experience some of the wildest Hello Neighbor stuff I have ever seen. Welcome back to Hello Neighbor. Now today we're gonna to be checking out some more user-made mods. This first one that we're checking out is called Walk, and this is by Nixonic15. Essentially, this is designed to be like a free roam. So we're just supposed to sort of explore the entire world. I don't know if the neighbor will make an appearance, but I can't help but notice that he is making strange noises. It's like laughing. He's sort of laughing and then is interrupted by what sounds almost like a burp. What is that? It's very strange. All right, well, let's do some exploration here. Um, it looks like we have a crazy, like, shadow lock on the basement over here. I don't know. That's actually pretty cool. Um, let's go upstairs and see if we can find anything up here. Okay, we have a red lock on this door. That... That noise is very, very annoying. I might actually just turn the sound off altogether because it's it's just the same noise over and over again. So we've got a bit of a little like closet puzzle here. It looks like we probably want to get to the top of these uh, these shelves and hopefully, yeah, okay. I figured there's gonna be something at the top. We found our red key, so let's use our red key get into this room yeah all right open up there we go uh, we've got a crowbar in here okay oh and a black key okay that is our shadow key that we were looking for can we actually jump out of the window here Let let's see if we can nah it doesn't look like we'll be able to escape quite yet let me out of here look at these crazy looking glowing satellite dishes what in the world is going on outside okay that is very strange. I guess we could just break a window open, right? And then we could just jump out the window. I mean, we can we can totally do that. I don't know if I want to do that yet, though. I want to go back downstairs and use this black key to get into the basement. All right, so let's try this out. Just going to pop all the nails off of these wood slats. All right, and then let's use our magical dark shadow key. And uh, we'll, we'll go see what's going on in here. Let's get these stupid pieces of wood out of here. I can't help but notice that the closer that I get to this room, the more my game lags. So I don't know if, oh, it's, it's not opening. It's still locked. Oh, okay. That is very, very strange. Like a shadow neighbor inside of this room looking at a mannequin that appears to be very, very scared. All right, let's just get the heck out of here. Let's leave. Uh, uh, excuse me? Uh, the door is locked? Okay, I can't get out the front door. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that apparently I've been told that there is a kindly Kian Easter egg somewhere on this map. Do I know where it is? I have no idea whatsoever. So maybe we'll do some cheating to, to find it if we can't find it naturally. But I think that would be pretty cool if we could find it. Let's go in here. What? What? Oh, oh gosh. There's a lot of fire in this room, and there's a crying neighbor in the corner. Uh, this is all just very confusing. There's also a shadow doll. What is going on in this house? <laughs> I don't know if I want to be here anymore. Hey, look, it's a golden apple. Here, cheer yourself up, buddy. Here, have a golden apple. There you go. Enjoy that. Yeah, I don't like this. There's giant shadow mannequins just kind of looking down at us. Yeah, let's just, let's just go. I, I've decided that I want to leave. See if there's anything in these cabinets over here. No, it doesn't look like it. There was nothing in the refrigerator, or at least nothing interesting. Uh, we got a cabinet over here. Let's check this. Aaron say what? Hello, hello. We got the 8-bit Ryan book over there, and we got a basketball. Sweet. Let's check these drawers. Nifflick ball, Nifflick ball, Nifflick ball. All right. Okay, let's escape because I don't like it here anymore. There's weird stuff going on here. There's a lot of shadow creatures that I do not understand. So we can jump out this window just real quick. Let's just double check if we didn't miss anything. Okay, yeah, I don't think we missed anything. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, we have officially escaped from the house. There's shadow guys just flying in the sky. I don't like that. Of course, we have the glowing satellite dishes. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're doing. They must be very, very hot. Probably don't want to touch them. Uh, there's the golden apple, the market, way the heck over here. And can't help but notice that 
the laughing is not going away. It is still in my ears. I don't like this. All right, let's head to the market here. Let's just see what exactly is going on. There's, you know, of course, there's the shadow guys just kind of fly. Wait, there's more on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is all very, very strange. Let's get a little bit closer to the action. See what's going on. I I am very confused by this. Okay, so we have a bit of a shadow thing party going on here. We have the old shadow thing, which is just like a flat image. And then we have the new animated shadow thing standing in the middle of a mob of old shadow things. And of course, above us, we have the the flying ones uh, this is just a strange scene indeed here have a shadow key i insist there you guys go now you're complete all right let's just go do some more exploring what is that why is it seems like there's like an oil coming out of the ground it's like a portion of shadow thing i don't know that is very very strange we need to go check this out i wish i could move a little bit faster though oh we've got another shadow thing in the forest it looks like it's kind of the same thing that was going on over here it appears that the old shadow things the flat ones do not like the new animated 3d shadow thing let's face it they're just jealous that the new one is bigger and better than them and so they're ganging up on him i, I feel bad for 3d shadow man or or maybe 3D Shadow Man is the leader of the Shadow Things, and he's actually telling them what to do, and then they're going to disperse and cause all kinds of chaos. Or maybe it's just a fun mod that somebody made, and it means nothing, and I'm digging way too much into it. Okay, let's move along. We're almost to the water tower, and I want to see this darkness that is, like, exploding from the ground. Why don't I see it anymore? Where did it go? We're almost at the top of the hill, and... I don't see the dark liquid that was shooting out of the ground. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it was actually behind the water tower. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, this is super, super weird. I wanna know what is going on here. It's just a dark cloud of evil. What are we looking at? This is very strange. Oh no, oh, it killed me. It, cr <laughs> oh man. Don't get close to that thing. It, it killed the mod. I'm not actually playing anymore. Now I'm back in like mod mode. I do have to say though, the nice thing about mod mode, don't have to hear the neighbor making that obnoxious laughing noise anymore. So I'll tell you what, why don't we just stay in this mode and just do some more exploring? Let's go under the map. Just see if anything is different down here. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Why is there an upside down mountain in this world? Is that a lake? Maybe that's a lake. We should head in that direction. Let's just see if there's anything inside of the school. It doesn't look like it. It looks like there's a little house nestled in this forest. So let's head over there, check it out. There's flying text. The choice is yours. Go to where you wanna go, no limits, no road to follow. Oh, was this is where you're supposed supposed to start this is not where I started okay that's interesting um let's go inside of here so yeah this is our starting house check it out we got a Rubik's cube in here okay I actually want to go back into normal mode and come to this house I want to check this out all right so we're heading back to the house we're back in normal mode we're back to our human body and of course the neighbor is laughing once again so that's super exciting I'm I'm glad to hear that he's alive and well so I started inside of that house over there but I guess technically your end goal is that house. So why are we starting at the end of the mod? I don't know, I'm confused, but that's fine. At least we get to check out this house now. So let's just do a little bit of exploring. Yeah, there's the blue key. I think the blue key is what opens the front door of that house over there. So yeah, we kind of did things a little bit backwards. That's all right. Let's just explore our house a little bit here. We, we've got a mini car. I love it, that's awesome. Here's our bedroom, very, very nice. We got a stack of Xbox One ones you know because you can never have too many xbox ones and just use them as stands let's see if anything else is going on in here we can open up the refrigerator doesn't look like we have anything going on in there is that a microwave i don't remember a microwave warning microwave energy do not remove the outer cover oh the magic toolbox i missed you does it fly no it doesn't fly oh my gosh i made a video like probably oh wait 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 it's still kind of crazy. Yeah, the toolbox in Alpha 2 is magical. 
I made a video probably almost a year ago now where we got the toolbox from Alpha 2 and we threw it around the map and it literally flies around like a feather. It's very, very strange. I don't know why the toolbox has those weird physics, but it doesn't look like it has exactly the same physics here in this mod tool, but <laughs> man, that brings back some good memories. Uh, it looks like we have a cabinet full of <laughs> flick baseballs. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, there you go. Have a blue key along with all those baseballs. Uh, but otherwise, it looks like the house is uh, pretty normal. Oh, did we check up here? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. Let's just check there. We got some flour down there. Let's just check the oven, see if we were baking anything. Doesn't look like it. All right, so this is basically where you would start the game and obviously we're not starting the game here but at least we know now all right so let's go into ghost mode here and uh, let's do some more exploration of the map so we've already been up there we don't want to get too close to that thing because it kills our game for some reason um what do we have over here oh that's the school so we've already seen the school so let's head in this direction towards i guess the factory which is up on this hillside and then i guess this is normally where the lake is but there's no lake here it's actually faster to run than it is to use ghost mode so i'm back into regular walking mode and we're just gonna head up to the factory up on the hill and then there's also this like super deep ravine over here so let's check this out real quick see what's down here okay uh yeah it's just a really really deep hole all right that's pretty stinking cool let's head up to the factory and just see what's going on over there. All right, so I'm back in ghost mode. I just wanna use this to be able to go inside of the factory to see if there's anything going on inside of the factory. It does not look like it. I do hope that one day the factory does have actual stuff inside of it, has an interior. That would be pretty stinking cool to explore that area. All right, so we have quite the journey across this ravine heading over to what I assume is the police station. I think we have decided that that is indeed the police station. All right, so I pretty much explored everything else in the map. I wasn't able to find my Easter egg, so that's kind of a bummer. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Maybe I didn't install the texture properly. I don't actually know, uh, but there is another section to this demo. We've got this walk puzzle one finish, so I want to try this out. Let's load it up and see what this is about. Okay, this looks pretty creepy. Let's hit play and uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We are surrounded by giant shadow things, not to mention that there is a giant shadow thing flying up above us. This is all very, very confusing. I guess this is where you're supposed to go after you get to the end of that main level. I have no idea what is going on here. Let's go inside. What the heck? There's a dead shadow thing down here. What happened to you, man? Did you get shot? What is going on in this room? This is very, very creepy. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, we got a blue key, so let's grab that just in case we need it later. Also, can't help but notice that I hear the neighbor kind of like grunting in the background. Okay, let's head over to this little room over here. It looks like this might have the blue lock on it, so it's a good thing that we picked up the blue key. So let's head up the stairs here and get inside of this little room, see what's going on. Ah, the dark shadow key is inside of here. Can we pick it up? All right, thank you. Before we open this up, let's just head over here and see what is going on over here. Looks like we got a carton of milk and we've got some coffins. Oh, this is real nice, beautiful. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I don't like it. Let's go ahead, open this guy up, get inside. Can we, okay, yeah, we need to free the neighbor. Free him. Get out of here, dude. I can't get any closer. It's not letting me get any closer. Here, have a shadow key. I don't know. Oh, I just shot him and it may have crashed the game. I don't know. Oh, oh, that was the goal. Okay, so we were supposed to shoot the neighbor with the gun in order to end the level. So that mod was pretty cool. There was a lot of stuff to see in there. I'm not sure if it was working the way that it was intended to work. I don't know. I seem to mess up these mods somehow every time that I play them. But regardless, that was really cool. I like that ending puzzle. That was very, very creepy with all the shadow things standing around us. I don't know. 
But let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. All right, guys, so this is a mod that I am very excited to be checking out. You could imagine that this is something that I saw and I really, really wanted to try. So I am stoked. This is Hello Neighbor meets Super Mario. You can probably guess I'm a big fan of the Super Mario franchise. You can tell by my outfit, right? I am super into it. Problem is, I can't actually reach the mouse while talking to you guys. This is a serious, serious issue. I can kick the space bar. I can definitely kick the space bar, so that is sweet, but uh, unfortunately, my arms are way too short to actually play the game, so I'm gonna hand it off to someone who maybe is a little bit more qualified. Thanks for watching, guys. That was very stupid, and I apologize for that, but in case you guys don't know, I am a huge fan of Super Mario, and so someone has made a mod which recreates level 1-1 from Super Mario Brothers, which I think is awesome. So we're just gonna check it out. I don't know if we can actually, yeah, the problem is we can't jump high enough to get on top of the blocks here. How am I supposed to get the mushroom? There's a mushroom up there, I promise. So we're just gonna have to walk around some blocks here, um, but we have our pipes here, so let's uh, let's go down. Come on, let, let me down, please. Please tell me that there's an underground section to this level. That would be so stinking cool, come on. Which pipe would it be? I guess technically it would be this top one, right? Can I get down there? <laughs> oh man, I can't actually go down it. All right, that's fine, that's fine. I understand there are huge limitations to making a Super Mario level in Hello Neighbor, but I definitely appreciate the effort. Now there should be an invisible block here. Come on, let's get our extra life. There's no invisible blocks here, you can't do that. All right, jump the gap. What is this over here? Okay, I know this section, so there's a fire flower inside of this block here, and then there's a green Koopa walking back and forth, I think, on top of this thing. Or maybe it's a red one? I don't know, it's been a long time since I've played the original Mario. Let's jump to the next gap. All right, we made it. We can't get on top of that. There's another power up inside of this block over here. I think, shoot man, I'm losing my memory. <laughs> it's not looking good. Nice, we got some brick uh, platforms over here. Jump across that gap. And then this is where you come out if you go in the underground section where you get all the coins. But uh, unfortunately, that section is not here. We've got a couple more blocks over here. And then we got the end. How do we get up here? We've got to stack these boxes. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Get on top of the pipe. I like that. <laughs> we got over it. Let's get to the top. We want the top of the flag. Give me the top. Let's do it. No, I can't. The tree is in the way. No, it knocked me off. <laughs> Come on. We can do this. We can get the top of the flag. Can't help but notice that the neighbor is waiting at the end of the level. Look at him, he's just hanging out. Is he the final boss for level 1-1? I don't know. I can't actually make this jump. This is a nightmare. Please, just let me get to the flag. Come on, crouch down. Yeah, 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 that worked, sort of. Can, can we please get on top? Oh, 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 don't fall, don't fall. I think, I think that we're on top, more or less. All right, grab the flag. Let's do it. I apologize for that. I, I'm very, very sorry for that noise that just came out of my mouth. But we made it to the end of level 1-1 in Hello Neighbor. That is a weird sentence to say. The neighbor looks super creepy in this lighting. Are you okay, neighbor? I don't know if he's okay. And then we drop down to level 1-2. Boom. I love it. That was awesome. Obviously, I recognize the fact that there are a lot of limitations to doing something like that, but <laughs> that's great. I love it. Let's just go back into modding mode here and just double check that there's no underneath section. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lower section. If I knew anything about modding, I would try to make it myself, but I'm not nearly skilled enough to do that. Also, our player character has a green and blue shirt, so <laughs> I guess he's supposed to be Luigi. So in this universe, the neighbor is Mario because obviously he's got the mustache already going. He's a little squattier than our player character, so he looks a lot more like Mario. And then we are Luigi, the lovable brother. The super hello neighbor bros. I like the sound of that. Let's make that a real game.
Welcome back to Hello Neighbor. So today we're checking out yet another mod and this one again is made by Video Game News. Now this is an actual level and it's pretty cool. So it's called the Neighbor Family Obby and it's essentially like an obby from Roblox, but it's weird cause like I, I played it for just a minute just to make sure that it was working. And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of this bizarro alternate dimension. You know what it's more like? It's like we're inside of the neighbor's dream and he's like dreaming of his family and he's trying to get to them. He wants to save them. And here we are in the neighbor's dream right now. The, the family, they look kind of like their faces are made of wax or something. I don't know what happened to his son there or his wife for that matter. His daughter, well, she's an adorable little boy. I, mm, that's not very nice. That's not very nice. She's just, she's got to grow into whatever that is. All right, let's just play. Let's play. So we have 30 stages. That's checkpoint number one. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's jump across these platforms. I also like a lot less the noises that I'm hearing. I, I don't, where is that coming from? It's just like the neighbor grunting. It's very upsetting. Um, now platforming in Hello Neighbor is notoriously difficult because you have this weird like momentum to your jumps. It's, it's awkward. It's awkward to say the least. Let's just, let's do our best to get across this. So like I said, it's a lot like a Roblox, uh, obby. We have to jump across these platforms. I don't know if some of these platforms are gonna get us killed or something like that. There's a lot of uh, obstacles in obbies. Oh, like this. Yeah, we can't touch the red line. At least that's what I think we can't do. I don't know. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Um, but yeah, a lot of the obstacle courses in Roblox are designed with like objects that you can't land on and they always look a little bit different. <laughs> this is weird. Flying cars. Yeah, sure. Let's jump across some flying cars. That sounds like a wonderful plan. I see a giant crow off in the distance. That's interesting. Uh, okay, let's hit the checkpoint. What? Are you serious? I gotta get across this. <laughs> okay, up to this point, the obstacles have been pretty easy. This one doesn't seem so easy. I don't, uh, okay, all right. Uh, we should probably jump across. I am much closer to that annoying grunting sound that the neighbor is making. Is it the giant neighbor over there that is making that noise? It doesn't sound like it. Is it coming out of his daughter? <laughs> What if that's what she sounded like? That'd be kind of weird. Oh, there we go. We we met our first death. All right. I knew it was going to be this one. This one is very tricky. These jumps are very precise. And like I mentioned, it's kind of hard to make precise jumps. That was right in my left ear. That was so loud. All right. There we go. We made it. Is that? It's you. It is you. It is. <laughs> That is, that is upsetting. Why are you making those noises? You, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's not you. He's not even moving. It's her. Huh. Oh my gosh. Sounds like a football player. Okay, let's, um, let's jump across these weird looking dolls. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay, come on, we can do this. Here we go. Jump on top of, jump on top of the doll's head, maybe. No, come on. Oh, wait, no, maybe I can use the hand. Ah, uh, whoa. I thought I fell for a second there. <laughs> that, was, that was a little terrifying. Um, hmm. Should we jump to the golden doll here? Yeah, let's do that. And then this doll is made out of, I don't know, $1 bills or something. It's kind of bizarre. All right, here we go. Please, I want to get away from her and her weird noises. Okay, some of these are gonna, do you think, do you think these are, but you know, we gotta test it. I think we're just gonna fall through these. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we fall through those. Okay, uh, what about the purple ones? Are the purple ones solid? They look pretty solid. Yes, we're good. We're good, purple is okay. All right, let's jump across those. Oh great, the orbs of death. I hate this. These are always so awkward to land on. Um, even more so in Hello Neighbor. Okay, there we go, there we go. Nope, that's not gonna work. 
That's not gonna work. If you guys haven't played Hello Neighbor, I'll try to explain the physics as best as I can when it comes to like platforming and jumping around. But if you jump without moving before you jump, you you move very little. So so look uh, here, I'll jump and I'll push W on the keyboard, which is forward, and you'll see how much I move. So like I mean, I literally move here. We'll do this. That's how much I move if I'm not moving forward when I jump. But now if I move forward while I jump, you jump like the entire length of this platform. If I run and jump while moving forward, yeah, like it makes a pretty significant difference. But <laughs> you can see it's like, it's almost like a spring is like attached to the back of my foot. It's insane what a difference uh, moving and jumping makes, and then even more so moving while running and then jumping. It's kind of absurd. In fact, here, I'll, I'll do a running jump and let's see how far we can get across this obstacle just for the sake of testing. Here we go, whoop, look at that. I almost made it to the very end. Like that's, I landed, I hit the orb before the very last orb in one jump. But if I just jump in midair and push forward, it's just like, it's anemic. It's just bleh. You don't go anywhere. It's very upsetting. So there's a brief little explanation of the physics in Hello Neighbor and why sometimes it is very, see, see, it's like you only have two choices. It's either jump while you're in air and barely move or jump while you're moving and fly off the edge. That's why a lot of the obstacles in Hello Neighbor are such a pain to get by. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wasn't scared. See, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Here, let's do a running jump. We'll just jump to this one. No, <laughs> too much momentum. Okay, this obstacle is a nightmare and we have to do it again right after this. There's a yellow one. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare. All right, let's try that. Okay, I think I can make it. If I do a running jump, I should be able to make it. It was so close. It was so close. Try again. Huh. Yes, good. All right, just get scoot up a little bit or scoot back. Try again. Here we go. All right. That was a pain. And now we have to do it all again. Although the orbs are like much closer together on this one. So it may be a little less difficult. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, here we go. First try. <laughs> uh, that did not work out very well. Uh, hmm. Maybe if I don't do a run, maybe if I just do a regular jaunt. No. That didn't work either. If I jump a little bit later, I think I can make it to this orb right here. So let's let's try one more time. There we go. Yeah, see, eh, easy. No, not easy. Okay, scoot back a little bit, jump to this one. Boom, right there. Easy breezy. Don't touch the red lines. You touch the red lines. You went exactly where I didn't want you to go. All right, be careful. Don't back up into it. I just need to give myself enough space to do a little run. Hoi! That was very close. Okay, all right, just there. Good, good, great. Hello, neighbor's son. I, You're very large and your mouth doesn't look quite right. It looks like it melted a little bit. You've been out in the sun too long, getting a little overheated, just starts to, starts to droop. Uh, that's very upsetting. But remember, this is the neighbor's dream. So, you know, he hasn't seen his family in a long time. He can't exactly recall exactly what they look like. It's a very sad situation. They've been gone so long. He even has a hard time recreating them in his dreams. Very, very sad. I'm sorry, neighbor. Okay, jumping across the bunk beds. Easy, easy. No more orbs, please. Don't, don't wish that upon me okay now we got to jump across the pillows with the red lines of death perfect we're in the furniture section of the obby apparently <laughs> a lot of couches pillows and beds perfect hello neighbor wife i wonder what her name is susan we're gonna name her susan hello susan it's good to see you we're gonna come around and be even closer to her wax face so we can get a real nice close-up of susan over there okay come on nope nope oh <laughs> Wait, stop it. Stop. Just, okay. We're good. We're good. Now jump across the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> and there are invisible boxes. We don't want to land on those. Those are a decoy and they're not real. It's not real. Get out of here, you dumb boxes. Okay, watch out for this. Don't touch the red. 
We know. We've played enough Roblox obbies. We know the secret. Don't touch the red. Good. Very good. Tables. Okay. The dining room table. Why is the dining room table like metal? Did you hear that when I landed on it? it sounds like a can. That is kind of weird. Some kind of fake wood. It's metal. It's all a lie. Everything's a lie now. I don't believe anything the neighbor is dreaming up anymore. He never did have a family. Tables made out of metal. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. What am I even talking about anymore? I'm just, I think that it's better if I just ramble because then I don't think about the jumps that I have to make. And it's like my subconscious brain just takes care of the, the leaping and the jumping and does a great job. Hello, little football player. Again, your grunts are louder than they have ever been. And I am just so happy to be here again with you. And th yep, there it is again. Lovely. What a lovely little girl. Okay, this is this is pretty easy. I just need to back up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Chairs. Okay, we can do this. Flying, flying chairs. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever had a dream like this before? I don't think I have. I don't feel like I ever put myself in a situation where I have to make my way through like an obstacle course. I don't know, I very rarely remember my dreams. I, is that is that bad or is that good? <laughs> I don't know. It probably doesn't really matter. I would like to remember some of my dreams though, because you can do cool stuff in dreams. For instance, you can fall off of a giant tower of TVs and then just reappear where you last left off. It's pretty remarkable. All right, let's get to the top here. Let's just, let's just do that and then jump to the middle one. Yeah, that's the secret. All right, I think we can make it. Boom, right there. All right, I don't wanna fall from, okay, okay, that was okay. That was okay. Next obstacle, cans. Lots and lots of cans. And you notice something? Remember those tables that sounded like cans when we stepped on them? These actual cans, also giant crow, just throwing that out there. These cans don't make any noise. See, I'm on to you neighbor. I'm on to you and your lies and your weird football grunting daughter. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, let's just jump across these fake cans that aren't actually real because everything else in this dream is actually r real. Again, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, guys. What's going on? Too much coffee. That's what it is. Coffee, it messes with my head. All right, we're almost to Susan. Susan, how you doing, lady? All right, let's... Nope! That was bad. That was a bad jump. Don't jump like that, and you immediately jump like that. Why? Why would you do that? It's terrible. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a running leap. That didn't work either. That actually did not work at all. See, okay, I'm gonna try a different strategy. We're gonna do the non-running leap. So we're gonna try to see if we can just push ourselves just we can't, we can't, which means that you have to jump at the appropriate distance to not hit the red lines. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare. When I started this all out, I thought that it was just a dream, but it's actually a nightmare. All right, go, go. Nope, nope, stop, 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 stop. Nope. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is frustrating. Oh my gosh, okay, careful. Careful! Good, good. Very good. Do it again. Do it, oh! <laughs> okay, do you think that I can make it to that one right there? Can I just do it in one leap? Oh, that was the answer that we were looking for. Just skip one of them. Okay, I made that a lot harder than it needed to be, but we managed to get through it. We made it to Susan. What is, oh, we got the picture. There's the picture. Let's see, let's do a quick little comparison. So, that young fella right there, that handsome devil, there he is, right over there. I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing the resemblance. It's, it's there, but it's a little rough. Uh, let's, let's look at the little girl, adorable less adorable. Also, you see that big smile on her face? She's laughing. You know what that sounds like? It sounds like huh, 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 huh. That, that's what her voice sounds like. Th yeah, you wouldn't expect that, would you? It's terrifying. The little girl with a 
40 year old football player's voice. And then there's his wife. Very, very pretty. There she is. Beautiful. Just a, just a beautiful lady. Hello, Susan. It's good to see you. I don't know if we actually have like canon on what his family's names are. Like the wife, the daughter, the son. I don't know if we have actual names yet. Maybe we will in the future. They, they are making a book about like the, it's a prequel, right? So uh, maybe we'll get some more answers. Goodbye, Susan. It was great seeing you in your wax face. Lovely, lovely people. Oh, we're jumping across pictures of his family. That's a little bit disturbing. Okay, there we go. Sneaky little jump right there. Careful, don't fall off. Oh, great, a whole platform made of his family's faces. We're just walking all over his family. <laughs> oh, that is bizarre. We're at 27 of 30 obstacles completed. Oh, that was getting, whoa, what the heck is going on? That was weird. It's like the mouse took over. I don't know. All right, let's get across here. We're at 28. What in the world do we have to do here? Um, I guess just don't touch the red. That seems easy enough. I can I can manage that. Am I on top of like a cake or something? I, it's hard to make out what exactly it is that we're standing on top of. It's like vaguely familiar, but not. That's the best I can I can do. Uh, this is definitely brick. So that's, wow, really great investigation skills there, Kian. Okay, let's jump to that platform. Did we make it? Are we done? We are very, very close. We're getting to the very top. We gotta jump to the stairs. We did it. We did it. Goodbye, family of the neighbor. Get me out of this nightmare. Honestly, I never wanna go inside of the neighbor's head again. It's a weird place. Okay, to the very top of the stairs. We've done it. Congratulations, thank you so much for playing. Code for next map. I, do do they have the next map? I don't know. Someone someone gave me a breakdown of all the codes. I, I haven't really looked at it. And I don't know what they actually unlock. But there you go. You got the whole family there. And uh, she's not grunting, so I'm much happier with this whole situation. So there's our reward. We've done it. We've saved his family. Did we? I don't think we saved his family because we're inside of his brain right now. We're in his dream. And unfortunately, he's going to have to wake up and return to reality and return to being a weird, creepy neighbor. But we did it. I'm very excited about that because, like I said, platforming in Hello Neighbor is not always a very easy thing to do. So we beat the family neighbor, Obby. Now we're trying another one. Yeah, Video Game News made another obby. It's another 30 stage obby. I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish it. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Let's just, let's just go through it. I'm not sure what is at the end of this one. The title of it is Escape the Neighbor Obby. So I don't know if, I hope that we're not getting chased. I don't think we would be getting chased. Let's, let's see. There, there is a giant neighbor over there. There's like keys floating. <laughs> That seems kind of insane. <laughs> Let's just move along. Okay, we've safely made it across that very, very simple platforming puzzle right there. This one, not so bad either. See, I'm all warmed up now. Now I'm ready. I'm all set up. What are these, giant Kit Kat bars? No, they're <laughs> like giant pieces of wood, I think. Maybe, like beams? I don't know. I don't care. Is this another one of the neighbor's dreams? Quite possibly. It is quite possible. Regardless, I want to get to the end, see what's at the end, besides a giant neighbor. It's very, very strange, and he's not moving or anything, he's just stuck. He's frozen in time and space. Are you okay, neighbor? I don't know, I don't think he's okay. I guess we already know that he's not okay. So, so far, these obstacles haven't been too bad. Uh, everything seems to be fairly easy. Up to this point, oh my gosh, don't just run off the edge. I have not fallen off yet. I thought I was gonna fall off there. <laughs> Literally as I was bragging about how I haven't fallen, just immediately fall, that's the way to do it. All right, to the very top of the box tower here. Get across this, you think I can just leap? Yeah, there we go. Not too shabby, jump across the giant books. We're already at 11 of 30, man. Making quick work of this obby, no problem. Boom, giant books, done. Oh no, I hate this. 
Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a nightmare. Okay, go like, nope, too far. You went too far. Oh my gosh, I hate these. And I can't, I can't get across. <laughs> there you go. Just jump over three of them in one giant leap. That was quite impressive. Nope. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can replicate it. Nope. <laughs> I love the buzzing. It's very, very, oh, enjoyable. Okay, there we go. Now, get across that gap. Get across that one. Mm, don't touch it. Whew. Whew. We made it. What are these? I don't know. They're weirdly shaped eggs. Crystals of some sort. I don't know. What's the neighbor dreaming about? Who knows? Up the escalators. Perfect. Easy. Easy obstacle. All right, across the very skinny bridge. Again, very, very easy. It looks like these ones might be invisible. Let's see. Yep. You go right through them. Good to know. So we don't want to touch any of these like weird Ottomans that are invisible. Oh, you know what? I need to go over here and go over there. You think I can make this jump? I think I can make it. Let's go. Boom. Just like that. See that confidence? You got to jump with confidence. That's the secret to success here. Oh, don't do that. Okay. All right. Nope. Nope. Don't fall. Okay. Good. Good. No. All right. I'm going to do a mega leap. Here we go. Boom. Easy. Across the beds. 17 of 30. Landed right in between those two beds. Couldn't have made that jump any worse. All right, beds. Watch it. Watch it. Careful. Oh. Okay, this jump is tricky. There we go. Nope. Don't. Why? Why? Let's do a mega leap. Let's see if we can just... Nope, that's too far. That is way too far. Here we go. Uh, oh, stop. Stop. Okay, good. Good. One more leap. Boom. Right there. No problem. Sort of. Little bit of a problem, actually. I don't like this one. I don't like any of these ones that have the red lines of death. All right. Careful. And then just jump. Yeah. Perfect. What is this? This is nothing. Unless there's some kind of trap. Is there? Is there a catch? There's no catch. That was so easy. All right. Let's move across the giant cabinets of sorts, the shelving units. I don't know what you would call these things. Probably cabinets. Easy. Again, obstacles in this one, not so bad. We got a bunch of bricks, like weird broken bricks. Huh, where are these? Oh, you know what? These probably are in the like broken down version of the neighbor's house at the beginning of act three. I think maybe you see bricks laying around, possibly. I don't know. Let's just try to jump across. Oh. <laughs> I almost ran off the edge. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, wait. I think that these are not something that we can land on. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. If there's like a translucent texture on the item, chances are you can't land on it. So why would I try to land on that one? Because I'm dumb, that's why. All right, there we go. Nice, careful. Just go back and forth. Here we go. Okay, I think I can make it to the end. Bam, no problem. Um, rugs, magic carpet ride, anybody? Aladdin, a whole new world, perfect, easy. Thanks, Aladdin. More giant books, don't touch the red books. No, we can touch the red books, okay. Very, very easy. We're almost at the end, more red lines of doom, but these ones are, these ones give us a lot of space. When there's plenty of space, I don't have to worry too much about it. Boom, 25 of 30. Let's go up the ladder. There's the weird frozen neighbor in time and space. Not sure what he's looking at. I guess if we turn around, we can see that he's looking at absolutely nothing. There's nothing there. Are you okay, neighbor? Do you need to see a doctor? Perhaps a psychologist, probably. He needs to talk about a lot of his feelings. Okay, that's, that's bad. These, these keys, this, this seems like a terrible obstacle. Yeah. This is going to be very difficult. I have a feeling this is going to frustrate me to no end. Let's, oh my gosh. Oh, what? Um, can I, can I get back up you think? I don't, I think I'm kind of like, yeah. Yeah, that was a doomed run. 
Try this again. Nope, that's not gonna work. Let's do a running jump. Okay. There. Nope. Oh my gosh. This is really hard because you have a very, very small area that you can actually land on if you want to make it. This is not gonna work. I'm, I can't. I, I guess. I mean, maybe. Maybe I can get back up. I don't know. This is. Uh, oh. Nope, you can't land down there. You're never gonna make it back up. So you just have to do a running leap and hope for the best? <laughs> I don't think that's the best way to do it either. Let's see if we can get to this blue one. Okay, there we go. Then I just need to get to that green one. That is tough. So the blue one's not too bad. Yeah, we can make that jump. Let's try red. Yes! Okay, I kinda hate this though. I'm gonna try to do a running leap. Let's see. Huh! Yes! Holy cow, that was the hardest one by far, at least up to this point, but we are very, very close to the end. That's 28 of 30. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. We just got a bunch of weird dollhouses here. Enter mouth. I don't really want to, but I guess I kind of have to. All right, into the neighbor's mouth. Hope he brushed his teeth before going to bed. Let's go. Ugh. 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 You guys like hanging out in here? Disgusting. Uh, do we just... Oh, okay. That's very weird. You know, all of us have a little version of ourselves in our mouth. That's bizarre. Just keep walking, I guess. We just walked through the neighbor's head. Amazing. We've done it. 30 of 30 stages completed. I've become the Obby Master of Hello Neighbor. I know, it's a lofty title to carry, but someone's gotta do it. And there is the back of the neighbor's head. It's just absolutely beautiful. Welcome back to Hello Neighbor. So as you guys can probably tell, we're here in the mod kit for Hello Neighbor. It hasn't been working for me since they updated it, but rejoice for it works once again. I guess they fixed some of the issues that the mod kit was having. So we're back in it. We're playing some more maps. Not everybody publishes their maps to the Steam Workshop, so you can't always play all the maps, but now we can because I can download them and just copy them into the mod kit. So today we're trying out a mod called Hello Forest. Now this is made by a fellow named Conrad and I'm very excited to check it out. So let's go ahead and start it up here. I don't know if there's like a cutscene at the beginning. Oh, oh, I hear noises. Okay. Okay. Let's go full screen. Okay. We're in full screen now. So I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. This looks pretty stinking cool though. We are in the middle of a forest. So we found that the neighbor has a house hidden in the forest, a secret house, a secret base that he built in the middle of a very dark and scary forest. Look at this, when I walk this way, whoa, look at how ominous that is. Oh my gosh, the lighting looks insane. There's the neighbor. What is he doing? And where are you going? Why, oh my gosh, this is, this is very cool. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I don't know what we need to do. There is a power thingy my bobber here. So, uh, hmm. Should we just flip the switch? I guess we can. Oh, turn the power off to something. He doesn't seem to mind. He's just doing his stretches over there. Here, let's see if it ring in the doorbell. Can we? We can't ring the doorbell. Okay, uh, wow. The, oh my gosh, there's a lot going on in here. Okay, uh, let's just, oh, there's an upstairs too, of course. Holy cow. Okay, there's a back door. Oh, oh. Uh, you think I, you think I should press the button? I'm gonna press the button. I'm gonna press it. I don't know if that's good or bad. Normally you want the generators to be on, but in this case, maybe that's not the case. I don't know. There's a grave in the backyard. Also very strange. Can we open this? No, we can't go down into the basement. Okay, good to know. Uh, can't open that either. We need a golden key. Uh, can we open this? We can. This takes us to where we were. <laughs> Not a new area. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, let's check it out upstairs. Holy moly. Oh, a kitchen upstairs. Hmm, I would not like that. I actually used to live in an apartment that was on the second level and taking groceries upstairs is very annoying. Wait a second. Is this some kind of clue? Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen this kind of art in Hello Neighbor. This is weird. What? is going on here? Did Conrad make this? 
I don't think he did. Oh, I knocked down a painting. Please, please don't come upstairs. Okay, let's just let's just continue exploring. There's like I I've made zero progress. I'm just exploring. There's so much to this house. This is really really cool. Uh, we need a blue key, so we need a gold key and a blue key so far. Keep adding them to the list. Uh, let's go in here, and uh, well, it looks like it's just a closet. I don't. Oh, there's the picture of his family hiding behind. This little, like, shoe stand. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. So what do we do? Wait, what is this? The... I, there's something in there. The family? Ooh. I don't... I don't know if the neighbor is trying to say something with burning a, a poster that says the family. I don't know. I really don't know. Is this our end goal? Is this what we're all looking for? This is the... the I mean, it's not a basement door because we're on the second floor. But uh, we are going to need something to remove these nails, so probably a crowbar. We're going to need a red key. We're going to need a silver key. And we're going to need two key cards? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. We've got our work cut out for us. Let's see if there's anything in the refrigerator. Doesn't look like it. Holy moly, there's a lot in this mod. Just checking all the cabinets in the kitchen right now. See if anything's hiding in here. Nope, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Let's go in over here. Oh, that's a locked door. So that leads to a new area. Can we get over there? That is the question. Hmm, a bowling ball. Eh, not very helpful. Uh, you know what? Actually, I did see this door. You see that? You think we can open that? Let's see. Oh, you totally can. Okay. All right. I like this. We're going to... Oh, I opened and closed it. That was very dumb. Let's try this again. I need to open it. Just hit E once. Ah, look at that. One fell swoop. Okay, I think this is the door that was locked before. So we should be able to... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can get in there now. So get rid of that. Hello, Mr. Mannequin. Uh, what is going on here? We got the dollhouse. So we need yet another key to open up the dollhouse. And I have not found any keys. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh! You think he can get in here? Holy cow, he can get in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, yep. Yep, that answers our question. Um... Where do I go? Where do I go? Just hide in the corner. Just hide. Uh, uh, neighbor. Is he, he's gone. He's gone. Ooh, I found a lever. Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, shoot. Get in there. Ooh, do you think he can come in here? Oh, he totally. Oh, my gosh. He, he's he's going to get in here. He's going to get in here. I just need to flip the switch. I don't know what that does. Oh, gosh. Stop. Stop. What What is this? What is this here? Red card 52 low poly. I'm taking it. What is this? I don't know what this is. All this stuff is all very confusing to me. Uh, 2908, that's the day that Hello Neighbor comes out, but it didn't actually come out on that day. Oh man, okay. We did pull a lever, so, so we got something open. He's gonna catch us. There's nowhere we can go. There's nowhere I can go. It's okay though, because we did pull that lever and it sounded like it opened the gate. So we got to find the gate that it opened. We also found this key card. So I think we need to take this upstairs. Let's see if we can get upstairs before the neighbor catches us. Man, we haven't even explored this side of the house. There's so much to it. All right, let's go upstairs. Hopefully he's not hanging out up here. Can we, can we use it on this? Ah, there we go. Okay, so we got one key card down. Now we need to find the other key card, which I'm going to assume is blue. I don't know though. I really don't. Where is he? I hear him walking around. I'm quite terrified. Not gonna lie. What is this? Oh my. Okay, we got some interesting paintings. Oh, another one of those Easter eggs. Uh, let's just check these drawers real quick. Okay, we can go in here. No, we cannot. This is a dead end. <gasps> he didn't see us. Okay. Okay, that is fantastic news. Let's just let's just peek in here. Hmm, interesting. I think we might have to go outside to do some more exploring, but we do want to find the gate that we opened by pulling that switch. So let's just do a quick look around here. Is this? Oh, I think this is a new room. We did not have access to this room or I just completely missed it before. What is this? Did we just turn off the camera system, maybe? I don't know. I don't know about this. This is cool. What is that? No idea. I like the 8-bit art, though. All right, let's just check this. Okay, nothing in here. All right. Oh, <laughs> what is 
that's, that's different. Different little drawing there. Okay, uh, let's check these drawers real quick. See if anything's in here. Nope, nothing in there. Okay. Uh, ooh, what about these? Yes. All right, get rid of this chair. Check this cabinet here real quick. Anything in there? There's shoes, paper airplane, nothing. Okay. Bathroom. Yes. Anything? Ooh, what's up here? Looks like, uh... Lots of toothpaste. Lots of toothpaste and lots of toothbrushes. All right, well, at least we know that the neighbor has good dental hygiene. I don't think there's anything up here. Although, I wonder if we sneak out this, can, can we? Well, I shouldn't have done that. Oh my gosh. Just landed right on top of the neighbor and he didn't notice. How did he not notice? I don't know. Okay, uh, let's explore this side of the house. We have a lot to do here. Let's go up the ladder. See what's going on up here. Have we been up here? We have. We were up here. Yes. Okay. So this doesn't really do a lot for us. There's there's Conrad. That's his logo. Great map so far. Very well done. I am enjoying it immensely. I'm excited to try and figure out more to it though. Okay, we can climb this thing. So you know what? I'm gonna grab something. I'm gonna grab a bag of trash. We're gonna use it to break open that window. I don't know if that's a new window. I'm gonna throw that. Bam, break it open. All right, let's see if we can, oh my gosh. Okay, I. this is, uh-oh, uh-oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> okay, can we, can we get up? We can. Oh, what is, whoa, 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 hey. Back off, neighbor. What is this? What? Oh, this is like a miniature version of the of that weird like statue that's outside the map. Is that what that is? I've never Oh, what? I was not expecting him to come up there. Okay. Hi, neighbor. My gosh. Came out of nowhere. He busted through that window right there. Dude, this guy is a madman. There is no safe place. <laughs> you will not find safety anywhere in the neighbor's house. Oh, that opened another gate or it closed a gate. Oh, here we go. It opened up the red door. Yeah. Oh, the golden key. So wait, we, we had another golden lock. What a switch. That is cool. Oh, I love it. This is his game room. He's got a switch. Whoa, whose face is that? I don't know. Looks like a nerd. He's like a real serious nerd. That's awesome. That's that's my dumb face. Oh man, I appreciate that. Thank you, Conrad, for putting me in the game. Very cool. Okay, uh, let's get the heck out of here. I don't know what to do with this golden key though. I, I really, oh, don't come in here. I want to look around a little bit more. Uh, I just want to see if there's anything else in this room. It doesn't look like it. I really wish I could take the switch. Can't take the switch. The switch is his, so we can't take it. Okay, we need to figure out what to do with this golden key? I, I really, we did see a lock with a golden, yeah, but it's a different color gold. It's not quite the gold that we have. Maybe I need to turn the generator back on. Let's see if it, do we hear anything? I don't hear anything when I turn it on. So no doors are opening. There's a lot of mechanics going on here that I don't quite understand. So I guess we don't need the golden key, but what was the point of going into that area? Oh my gosh, am I stuck? I think I might be stuck. Okay, yeah, I was definitely stuck and the neighbor took advantage of that situation. Very rude, neighbor. What does this do? Like, okay, another gate opened. What gate though? <laughs> or gate closed, I don't know. We can now access this room. I don't think there's anything in here for us. I don't like the way the lights are blinking. It's upsetting me. Oh, what? No, no, did he barricade this? Oh my gosh, are we stuck? No, he went outside. Oh, what? A, a gate just closed and I didn't press a button. What? Did, oh, he pulled the lever, didn't he? Did you pull the lever here, neighbor? Did you do that? I think he did that. So we need to get to wherever that gate is before the neighbor figures it out, but I have no idea where that gate leads or where that switch, yeah, he just did it again. What a punk, he keeps ruining my plans, my master plan. I don't really have a master plan, but he keeps ruining whatever I'm trying to do. Oh, oh, what is this? The red key, okay. Oh, I think we're onto something here. We need to follow that cable. Okay, so that cable goes like, Oh my gosh, I don't I don't know exactly where that cable goes. It looks like, ooh, is that 
really? So, but we, we already flipped that switch. I am confused now. I'm immensely confused. Oh no. Oh, don't catch me. Okay. He caught me. We're kind of onto something though. I feel like we have found the red key, which I don't know what the red key is for. Is it for the, the door that's upstairs? Uh, hey there, buddy. Good to see you again. Oh my gosh. How did he not see me? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. So the red key is right up there. And then there's the cable goes down and then we kind of lose track of it around here. We need to figure out where that is going and it's kind of like a twisted black cable although this one looks pretty similar too so that could cause some confusion Let's see if we can figure this out i don't okay he's doing his exercises in the backyard which is very annoying because that's where i want to go um you know what actually let's try this let's let's break this window and check this out okay so this is not the cable this is not the same cable this one is what is leading to the switch in that room down below us. And we don't actually know what it does because, wait a second, no, we don't know what it does. We have no idea what that switch does. It must open something inside of this room, which obviously we don't have access to yet. Ooh, the red key, it's for the dollhouse, maybe? Maybe it's for the dollhouse? I don't know though, the dollhouse might have a special key. Uh, remember, it's the one with like the little bow on it. So we do need to figure out where this cable is going, but I'm having a hard time tracing it. I think it goes like all the way downstairs. Can we go in here? No, that is locked. Hmm. I'd like to figure out how to get into that room. That would be cool. Let's go around again and let's see if we can figure this out. This is very, very tricky. Oh, hi, neighbor. It's great that you're just standing right where I want to go. <laughs> oh man, this makes things difficult. Okay, let's try turning on the generator and let's see if that changes anything upstairs. Nah, it doesn't look like it. We really want to get that open. Oh, you know what? That does have a bow on it. Yeah, that is almost certainly the dollhouse key. Maybe, just maybe it's what's outside. Maybe it's this one right here. Let's see. Let's Let's pull it. Okay, so we hear the sound. Now the neighbor will pull that lever if he gets back down to that area. So he'll close it again. Nope, that didn't do the trick. So that wasn't for that. What about this one? What do you suppose that does? That doesn't do anything with that. Okay, so we're trying to trace this cable, right? So it goes around, goes down, goes around the corner, and then it goes through this wall. And then there's this very suspicious looking book. The book was a switch clever very very clever oh my gosh okay now we're talking now how do i get this <laughs> okay uh, uh, how am i gonna get this key let's see let's see maybe i can uh, uh. nope that's not gonna work okay uh let's try a little box maneuver here stand on top of the box let's see uh. Uh, there we go. Oh, got it. Okay. Now, where was the dollhouse? I think it's not over here. I actually forgot. Okay. So we're finally making progress. Now I just need to find the dollhouse, which I, I completely lost. Here it is. We found it. Okay, please. Door, get out of the way. Thank you. Now, open. Oh my. Oh, the key card. The key card is in here. Now, is there anything else that we can do with this though? Was that, no, there's gotta be, oh, you know what? We can open the doors, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so we can use the dollhouse to open doors that we didn't have access to before. I don't know where those doors are, but we're gonna find them. Oh, hi, hi neighbor. Okay, um, excuse me? Um, uh, what, what just happened? He just, okay. Carry on, neighbor. Carry on. Uh, I just want to double check that the doors are still open. Okay, the doors are still open. Now, this is interesting because there's a key card slot right next to this door. Does that mean that there's a door that wasn't open that was right by here? 
I, I can't believe that we're not getting caught, by the way. So this is not for this key card. This is for a completely different key card. I am very confused as to why the neighbor can't see me, but I'm okay with it for now. But what I really want to do is find the door that was locked before that we opened. I, th I really thought we were onto something with this one, but apparently not. Let's go down into the backyard. See this room? No, that one's locked by a blue or like a teal key. No! The neighbor finally found us. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know why he couldn't see us before, but now he can. So, oh well. It was fun while it lasted, but I'm still very confused. Maybe we should try and figure out where this is going. So when we pull that lever, it definitely opens a gate, but I can't trace the cable. I don't know where that red and black cable is. Let's go upstairs and see if we can try and figure it out. It looks like it might actually be leading into the room that we're trying to get access to. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything with that uh, that lever right now. Are any of these paintings like a secret switch or something? Uh, nope, they all fall off the wall. OK, so none of them are switches. <laughs> Not that one. But I'm back upstairs. Doing some more exploration. I don't know. I'm like, we knocked all the paintings off of the wall and. Did. Is. I knocked that painting off of the wall and I did not notice that there was a secret compartment behind the painting. Wow. Blind much. I don't did. <laughs> okay, well, at least we found it eventually. So there's a key. Okay, and then can no. Yes, a white key. Did we find a white lock? Oh my gosh. Let, let's just check this. This? No, no, it's not for that. Okay, this one is the car key. But is there a car? I didn't see a car around here. Maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough. Okay, let's look for a car. We're going to try to find a car. Mm plug this car key into a car and drive away. Get out of the forest. Where's the neighbor? Where is he? Uh, uh, he's still chasing me? I don't know. Let's go to the front. Let's go to the front yard. Yeah? Yeah. Front yard. Oh, you know what? This one's very susp suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We should just get rid of it. We should throw it away. Terrible painting. Awful. Awful picture. I don't see a car. So I don't know what to do with this car key. There is a flashlight right here. <laughs> Probably should have noticed that right off the bat. Uh, let's see if we can see anything. There's a little beach ball uh, that we see at the beginning of Hello Neighbor. I don't think that we can go beyond these trees. Wait, what? That's, oh my gosh. That's, uh, that's the teal key right there. <laughs> the teal key is inside this, this thing. Wait, so is this all just like, is this just like deception? It, it, like, is this just here to trick you into not seeing the teal key? You get tunnel vision. You can't see the teal key. Oh my gosh. Okay, grab it. Grab it. Come on. Come on. You can get it. Get it. Wait, is my inventory full? My inventory's full. Yeah, I'm dumb. Let's get rid of the flashlight for now. We don't need it. Let's grab the teal key. Come on. Grab it. Grab it. Come on. Okay, you know what? Maybe we can stand on top of something. Like, use a trash can. Yeah, yeah, this should work a little bit better. Yes? Yes! Okay, teal key. Where? There, the teal lock. I, I know where it is. It's in the backyard. It's in the room that is connected to the backyard, rather. So it's, it's right here, I think. Now, all the items that are in my hand right now are items that we need. So let's be very careful about how we use them. Please get in the window. Come on! Oh my gosh, use the use the box. Oh my goodness. This is so frustrating. I have too much stuff in my inventory. I'm going to throw the teal key in there and then put the box in front of the window and then jump into the window. OK, we did it. Now you open. Oh, progress. It's beautiful. What? OK, there's another lock here. This is a strange room. Oh, that is a very, very suspicious looking lever. I'd like to throw something at it. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I don't think we need the teal key anymore, so I'm going to put it down and I'm going to grab this alarm clock and I'm going to throw it at this lever. Yes. Yes. OK, what is in here? <gasps> the crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. Come here, crowbar, please. 
Come to me, crowbar. I got it! I got the crowbar! What do I do with the crowbar? I guess, I mean, I can open the the door upstairs, but I don't know if that's that's enough. We still have a lot more locks on that door. See if anything's in these drawers? Nothing, okay. This, I think, leads, oh, interesting. Wait, is that white? Let's see, no, it's a slightly different shade of white. It's like silver. So that's not gonna do us any good, <laughs> unfortunately. But at least we've made a little bit of progress here. I'm just gonna move this chair. There's some Chinese food under there? No, nothing. Okay, so I think we got what we need to get in that room. Let's go upstairs and I guess remove the, uh, the beams from the door? Are there any other beams that we can remove? That's a great question. We should keep an eye out for other things that are locked down by bolts like this or nails. Okay, I have too much stuff in my inventory, but I really, I don't know what this stuff is all for. I feel like I should just like set it down somewhere. You know what? That's what we should do. Let's go to the front and let's just set all of our junk down so that we have some more inventory space and so that we can actually pick stuff up. And if we need this stuff, we know where it is. It's in the front yard, easy to get to. What about this vent here? This thing looks kinda... Ooh, oh, oh, what? Okay, yeah, can I, yeah, yeah, what, yes, a key. And it looks kinda silver, looks kinda like a silver key. Can we go through this vent? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like this. Oh my gosh. Okay. I feel like we're finally making some sort of progress. This here? Yes. A new door. Oh my gosh. Oh, a car and a garage and a, a wrench. What's the wrench for? Okay. Okay. I'm getting overwhelmed. Let's just focus on what we can do, which is open the trunk of the car. I need to get outside. Please chair, get out of my way. Put the flashlight down where there's my car key. Grab it. Grab the car key. Yes. Okay. Go back to the garage. You, you beautiful, beautiful car. Open, open. Yes. Okay. What? Oh, magnet gun. What? The magnet gun is in the trunk, but I can't. I can't grab it. Oh, come on. Come on. Y'all work with me here. Please remove this. Get that out of the way. Come on. Grab the magnet gun. There we go. We got the magnet gun. What do we do with it? I have no idea whatsoever. I am very confused. There's a washing machine. Oh, that's suspicious. Can we open the garage door? I don't know. Wait, is there? Oh, is that a shovel? That's a shovel. Aha. <laughs> I'm on to you now. Okay, so now we're gonna take the wrench. I don't know what the wrench is for. I also don't know what the magnet gun is for, but we're gonna take this stuff and uh, put it outside. I don't think we need the car key anymore, but we're gonna keep it regardless. I'm gonna hold on to the magnet gun. I'm gonna put the wrench down here. I know the shovel has got to be for the grave in the backyard. So let's go to the backyard. You, oh you, come here. Yes, dig, dig. Uh, what? A golden key card. You don't suppose this golden key card is for upstairs? I mean, it seems like the only place that it could be used. Let's go upstairs and let's see if this works. I have no idea where the neighbor is. I haven't seen him in a while, actually. I think he's getting scared because we're making so much progress. Boom. Okay. We are definitely on to something. So all we need is... This key, which I think is silver. Wait, can we just, can we leave? Cause this looks like the dollhouse key, you know? Like this is the silver key that we have and the dollhouse key. I, I wonder if we can just open the door with what we have. Let's go to the front. Hopefully we don't see the neighbor. I just feel like there's so much more though that we need to uncover in this crazy house. I don't know. Let's just see. We've got the wait. Where's where's my stuff? Where's the dollhouse key? I don't know what I did with the dollhouse key, you guys. Oh no. Oh, what kind of terrible mistake have I made? What is there's a rock. Can we is there anything under the rock? No, there's nothing under the rock. Oh no. Wait, this where was the where did the silver key go? How how did I lose Okay, did I throw it in here? 
I don't feel like I did. Okay, wait a second. I just, look at this cable. It leads to this thing. There's a lever. There was a lever there the whole time? Oh my gosh. Okay, um, well, we have the white key, so we can <laughs> unlock this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what happened to that other stuff. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Let's just try and figure out what we need to do in here. This is a classroom. What? Okay, there's a big old blue key. What? What does this all mean? I'm... Okay, wait, is there a certain drawer that we need to open? Wait, maybe if we open this drawer? Can... What? There's a music disc in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I think there is a drawer in this room that has the blue key in it. I think that's what it's trying to tell us. Let's, let's hope so. Okay, there's a milk carton in that one. What is this, a book? It's a book, that's not gonna do me any good. Okay, great. There's no blue keys in any of these drawers. You lied to me, why? Okay, so I overthought this. I, I was way overthinking this. The, the key is inside of this drawer. There it is. It was there the whole time. Why, why the deception? Why? <laughs> he tricked me. I thought I was, I was just overthinking the puzzle. It was in the drawer that it said it was in. It wasn't in one of these other drawers. I was thinking like maybe the milk carton was like reskinned as the blue key. No, overthinking it. Okay, where does the blue key go? I think it's the door that's upstairs that like faces downwards. So I think it's out on the patio. Yes. Yes, here it is. Boom. Okay. Oh, this is creepy. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, we've never been in this room. Let's remove this so that we can access it again. Can we, we can't open it from this side. Please tell me there's more than just stale bread in this room, please. Please. Oh, oh, a sneaky little key in there. Okay. This is a silver key. This is a silver key that I believe we can use upstairs, but I feel like there was another lock that was silver somewhere. I just, I don't exactly remember where. Let's unlock you. Okay. Definitely making some decent progress now. Oh, I found the neighbor. He's been in that room the whole time. He was like locked in there. I. I don't know what was going on with the neighbor in that room. I would like to figure out where the doll key is because I feel like that's the last key that we need, but maybe there is one more key that I'm overlooking. Okay, guys, so we've beat this game. We beat this mod, but we're missing one thing, and that's the dollhouse key. The dollhouse key is the last key that we need, which we had, but I don't know where I put it. I've looked all over the house and I cannot find the dollhouse key for the life of me. I am flabbergasted, to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna ghost through the door because I feel like we've done our part. We've, we've gone through the trouble of finding everything. So we're gonna use ghost mode and we're gonna check out what's on the other side of the door. And you shouldn't go to basement you, you map yet. Okay, so I guess it's, the basement section of the game is not done yet. Let's see, go into walk mode. And is that it? What, what? Oh, okay, we, this isn't the basement, this is the attic. Wait, there's a golden key. Oh, oh, okay, yes. I know where to use this. Let's get out of here, please. Get me out, okay, thank you. All right, let's go to the backyard and there is a door in the backyard, I believe, that has a golden lock on it. Yes, there it is, boom, go. Aha, we've done it. We made it to the basement, but I think that it's gonna end? I don't know, let's give it a second here. Okay, the basement loaded, and uh, I just see fire. I see fire in darkness. Oh my gosh, this is, what? And there's the moon, okay. Welcome back to Hello Neighbor. Now you're probably noticing that things look a little bit different. Well, that is because we are super tiny. I have set my size to point one of the standard size, so a tenth of what our normal size is, and today we're doing something that a lot of you guys requested for me to do, and that is the Tiny Man Challenge. So we're gonna try to get to the neighbor's basement as a very, 
very tiny little man. It's going to be an interesting experiment here because I I'm really interested to see if we can get past some of the obstacles that are going to be in front of us as we make our way to the basement. So like I said, our goal today is just to get to the basement. We're not going to worry about doing the secondary missions and all the extra stuff to get our extra abilities so that you can actually beat the basement. It's just to get to the basement. So basically, we have to get the key card and we have to get the crowbar. Those are our two goals right now as tiny little man here. And you can see our jump is still pretty good. So I imagine imagine we'll be able to get up most of the obstacles that will be in front of us. Now, the main thing that I have to contend with right now is remembering how to actually do this. I think the first thing that we want to do is get the crowbar and at least grab it so that it has time to cool down. Now, obviously, the other thing that we have to do is I think we have to hit that switch on that generator to turn off the freezer so that we can thaw out the key card is that right if I if I go yeah okay so the key card is frozen inside of there and the neighbor sleeping where where is he sleeping oh man this is this is creepy is he is he in his bed oh he's totally oh he's oh whoa D did you see his head his what was wrong with his neck I, I I don't know if I like that that was very very strange okay so goal number one Let's, oh, there's the neighbor. Oh, he found us. Open this, open this. Okay, at least we got that chair out of the way so we can go in that way if we need to. But our primary mission right now is to get the crowbar. So we have to go upstairs. I'm wondering what the best way to do that. I think he just went into the kitchen, if I'm not mistaken. Is he, is he in there? I, I don't actually know. Okay, let's just, let's just try to sneak our way. Can we go under this? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I wonder if he could catch us if we were hiding underneath the cabinet here. That's awesome. All right, we need to get upstairs. Where are you, neighbor? Okay, I don't see him. I don't hear him. So I think the coast is clear. Can we climb the stairs? Oh my gosh, that's really weird. Okay, we need to open up that painting. So we need to make this jump here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be hard. Wait, can I squeeze through the bars? No, I can't fit through the bars. That stinks. Okay, um, we're gonna have to figure out a way to get on top of this shelf over here. So we got on the chair. Whoa, 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 work with me here. Okay, maybe we can jump to the banister. Okay, we made it to the banister. All right, we need to get to that light. I hope we can make this jump. Oh gosh, that messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. Okay, it's fine. We can do this. Get on the chair. All right, jump to the railing. No, no. I'm so glad that he's not chasing us right now because that would put us in a really hard spot. Okay, I need to make this jump. Oh gosh, I fell off again. It is not easy to be a little man. Come on, jump. Oh, no. Oh, this is just the first of many jumps and we're already having this much trouble. This is bad. This is a bad sign of things to come. All right, come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. We can do this. Huh? Nope, nope, no, no. no, no. Can I just jump? Maybe, actually, maybe I can jump on this railing, and then I can jump from this railing. Yes, yes, now we're on to something. There we go, all right, that's so much easier. Okay, I just need to do this. Ah, ah, we made it, we made it. All right, get across. No, no, little buddy. Well, we made it, but we're on the wrong side of the railing, and we can't get through it. Oh my gosh, this is so hard, okay. Oh man, he's found us. Oh no! We really squandered that opportunity. This is really hard. Is he looking at me? I think he's looking at me, isn't he? Can I jump over his fence? I can. Oh, he's coming over here. I don't like this. Okay, you know what? We opened up this door so we can get in through here. Okay, he's got a bear trap over here. Let's jump across that. Oh man, he's behind us. Oh, get away, get away, little buddy. Get away from the creepy neighbor. Oh, just keep running. Just keep running. Is he still chasing us? Maybe, maybe he can't see us behind these boxes. Okay, he stopped chasing us. We're good. Let's just make this jump. First try, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, we made it to the railing. Now we just need to jump to the light. No, I messed it up. Oh my gosh. Try this again. We got this. There we go, there we go. All right, we just need to plan accordingly. No, I, why? <sighs> this is really hard, guys. This is really, really hard. They don't call it a challenge for nothing. All right, to the light. Nope, didn't make it. Didn't quite make the jump. Try this again. Yes, line it up. Yes, all right. Okay, just jump. Yes, finally. Oh my 
gosh, that was incredibly difficult. Way harder than it needed to be. All right, let's throw this at the picture. And that should get that guy open. Now the question is, how are we going to get back? Uh, maybe we can stand on top of this guy. And that'll get us... Yes, that got us just enough height to get up there. Okay, so now we just need to get to the top of these stairs. Man, climbing stairs as a little guy is very strange. Okay, so we just need to go in through the no-gun room. I think that we need to open up this door and then go in here. This is the basketball door, right? Yeah, all the basketballs are in this room. Okay, open this guy, and I think this is where we will find our crowbar. Yes, there it is. Can I grab it from here? Please tell me I can grab it. Come on. Yes, we got it. We got it. What? Where did it... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, I want to drop it. No! Oh, man. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to go back up there once it cools off and grab the crowbar. Now, our next mission, which is going to be way, way harder than that first one, is to get the key card. And the neighbor is chasing me right now. This is very upsetting for me. I don't like this. Where is he? Oh, man, he's coming. Are we safe here? He's right over there. He knows we're in here. He's, he's just gonna guard us forever. He's just gonna stand there forever, isn't he? Oh man, I hate this. Well, this gives us a good opportunity to try and uh, kind of suss out what we need to do. So, we need to get the key card. In order to get the key card, we have to turn off the freezer. In order to turn off the freezer, we have to turn off the generator that is inside of the cage. In order to open the cage, we have to finish that little puzzle in that one room where we collect all those items and put them on top of that pressure plate. Now, the hardest item to get is the guitar. And the guitar is on the other side of the moon and sun rooms. So that's what we have to do. We have to open the moon room first. So let's just let's just let him catch us. And hopefully it'll be nighttime. It's not nighttime. So let's let him catch us again. Neighbor, I am running through the middle of your house and I would like you to catch me. Why is he never around when I actually want him to be around? And then the times when I want him to go away, he's always right in my face. He's not a very considerate fella, is he? Yeah, grab me. Thank you. This is still not nighttime. Catch me, neighbor. Catch me. I dare you. I dare you. I'm too fast for you. Can't catch these hands. Can't catch this. Why is he not responding to what I'm doing? Hello. Thank you. Make it nighttime, please. Nighttime. Nighttime. All right. So now we need to make it to the moon room. And I don't know exactly how to do that. I know. I know. I got this. I got this figured out. So we need to open up the ladder room so let's grab like an apple maybe that'll work um, we need some objects that we can throw through that little opening in the window this mug should do the trick huh. let's grab another apple or a piece of bread no that's a bag i don't want a bag i want an apple Ugh. there we go we got it all right so let's run to the back of his house and uh let's try to open up this door this is gonna be really tricky because we're so little let's see if i can aim it all right, just get it. Oh my gosh, I threw that way too hard. Okay, try this again. Nope, too soft. Try again. Okay, just a little bit higher. We can do this. We can do this. Just like that. Oh, that was that was good. That was good. Here we go. Here we go. This is the one. I can feel it. Yes, we got it. All right. So now we just need to break into his house again and go up the ladder. Hopefully we can climb the ladder as this little guy. Oh shoot, I set off a camera. Okay, let's just run for the ladder. Please, can I climb it? Please, let me climb it. Oh my gosh, can I not? I can't climb it. I can't climb the ladder. Oh, I'm climbing the ladder. We're good. Oh man, that scared me. That would have been terrible if we couldn't climb the ladder. Okay, grab on. There we go. All right, we've made it to the train tracks. Now, can we go under these boards? Oh no, we have to turn on the train. I totally forgot about that. Or... If I had an umbrella, I could definitely jump to where the moon room is. I might be able to make that jump. Oh, I should probably find an umbrella first, though. Let's try to go down the stairs. This is, this is scary. It's not working. It's not working. Go down. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, go down these stairs. Please. Nope, we're just falling. We're just gonna die. Dang it! Okay, so it's nighttime again. I made it to this side of the house. Now, we need to get 
the blue key. We have to get to the blue key room in order to get to the train station and turn on the train so that we can destroy those boards. So that's our primary goal right now. Man, this is way harder than I was expecting it to be. This jump is gonna be a serious pain. I should probably grab some stuff so that we can throw it through that doorway so that we can uh, like release that, that room. This thing might work. Maybe this picture right here will work. Oh man, there's nothing else that I think will fit in that little opening. Is there anything inside of this box? Please let me inside of the box. Uh, there's a potted plant that might work. Okay, we need to make this jump. This is gonna be, oh gosh. Oh, and the neighbor's right there. He's right there, he's waiting for us. Oh, please don't notice me. Please just carry on. Okay, he didn't see us. Okay, so I managed to make it back upstairs. Now we just need to make this jump again. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so difficult. There we go, okay, we got it. Now we need to take this painting down and get rid of this painting because it's not gonna do us any good. Now we have to aim for that little switch that's over here and I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off. This is too tricky. If we put a couple of boxes right here, I wonder if we can fit through that hole. Let's try it. We gotta use our size to our advantage. I did not mean to fall though. That was, that was a very bad decision. All right, now we need to get back up there again. And of course I can't see anything when I'm holding boxes. So that's super cool. Okay, I made it back up. Now I'm just trying to, I, I've gotten pretty good at moving around without being able to see most of my screen. So now we just need to make this jump here. Did we make it? Oh my gosh, we didn't make it. This is so frustrating. Okay, try this again. This jump is so precise and having to do it as a little person with no view of what's in front of you makes it really, really difficult. Here we go, here we go. Yes, we did it. Okay, now we just need to set these boxes right in front of us and hopefully we can climb them. Please let me up, please. Here, let's, let's climb this little edge right here. Yes, yes. And then jump in through there. There we go. We're using our size to our advantage. Okay, um, we can grab the, I guess we can grab the magnet gun and just use that to try and unlock this thing. Why, why isn't it working? It's not triggering it. Come on. There we go. All right, so now we've opened that up and we can grab the blue key. I, I hope, I hope we can grab the blue key. Come on. Oh my gosh, please, please let me grab the blue key. Uh, well, that's good that we can make it out of this little spot, but the bad news is, is that we can't reach the blue key. We need something. We need a chair. Let's grab a chair, and hopefully we can still fit through this little crack over here with our chair. Yes, yes, okay. Now set the chair down, like that, and then use the chair, and grab the key. Grab it, grab it, come on. There we go, we got the blue key. Oh my gosh. <sighs> That was really, really hard. Now, let's go. Oh man, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh. All right, this is okay though. We have the blue key now, so we can go upstairs and we can open the blue key room. And now we should be able to get access to the train station. I don't know where the neighbor is right now. I'm just gonna run for it. I'm just going for it. I don't care anymore. I just wanna open up the blue key room. There it is. There it is, all our hopes and dreams. Yes, we got it open. Okay, please let me in. Close the door behind us. Okay, shoot. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make the jump from the lift over to that window. That's a huge jump. That's a tough jump when you're regular size. Oh man, okay, let's let's grab this stuff and see if we can get the lift to trigger. I, I've gotta throw it properly, but I can't see what's in front of me. There we go, we got it, okay. Now we just need to break open the windows. Go ahead and throw that. All right, here we go. Huh! Yes, we made it, oh my gosh. Okay, this should be the room with the train station controls, right? Yes, oh my goodness, I can't believe we made it this far. There we go, we have officially started the train, right? Right? Yes, there goes the train. Okay, so now we have access to the train tracks and we should be able to get over to the moon room, but we have to make it nighttime now. I'm gonna turn off the neighbor's camera system. If I can get up the ladder, please let me up, please. Hello? Break this open. Can we get in? Let me in. No, there we go, all right. And then hit the switch. Yes, okay, no more cameras. They're very annoying. 
Uh, now we just need to get caught by the neighbor so that we can make it nighttime. Neighbor, where are you, pal? Hello? Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is try to find an umbrella. I think that there's an umbrella over by the moon room. So if we make our way through the train tracks, why aren't the train tracks? Why isn't this broken? What? Where's the train? Um, I don't know what happened to the train. Um, I think I'm just gonna kill myself then. Um, or actually, I wonder if I can make it over here. And then is there an umbrella over here? I might be mistaken, but let's just try, since we're over here, to see if there's an umbrella. There isn't? Huh, I really thought there was an umbrella over here. I guess I was wrong. All right, so let's just jump off of the roof so that we can reset our character and hopefully the train will go. I know the train was going when we hit the button. What? Why? Train? Why are you stuck there? Okay, I'm not sure what happened, but after getting caught by the neighbor, the train is indeed moving again. So that was super weird. But now it is nighttime and we can get to the train track. So we just need to get upstairs and hopefully the neighbor isn't hanging out in our path. Okay, so far so good. Let's just climb the ladder. Okay, we've made it to the train tracks. Now we just need to get over to the moon room, which is right below us. I, I hope that we can make this leap without dying. I think that I can just creep off the edge here. Just slowly jump off. Okay, there we go. Nice and steady. All right, there we go. We've made it to the moon room, so this should open for us. Very nice. Now we just need to get back here during the day. Let's go ahead and grab the gramophone, I guess. I, I don't really need this, though. I'm not... It's just in the way. And let's put a chair in front of this door just in case. This always worries me if the door is going to close on me, so... Uh, I just want to put a chair in there just in case. All right, that's good. Now, um, I need to figure out how to get over the railing. Hopefully, I can get on top of there. Okay, there we go. And then let's just jump off and hopefully it will be daytime. Although the sun is out, this does not qualify as daytime. It has to be afternoon. So we have to get caught by the neighbor again. There he is. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Here we go. This is daytime. So... Let's make a run for it. Oh, man, he's right there. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Just run, 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 run. Just keep going. Don't look back. Jump to the ladder. Oh, climb it. Climb it. Oh, my gosh. I thought that I didn't climb it for a second there. All right, we're good. We made it to the train tracks. We should be able to make it to the sunroom now. All right, we are making decent progress as our little man here. Okay, now we should be able to grab the guitar in this room. Oh, no, I didn't drain the water. Shoot. Okay, let's hit this so that we have access into the room that we need to get to, right? Yep, that gives us access to that room, but we need to drain the water. I think that we need to jump over the edge. Um, let's grab this table and use this to get on the railing. This is going to be super tricky as this little guy. Okay, I hopefully that'll work. No, that's not going to work. You need to stand up, table. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's get on the railing and let's just peek over. Yes, there it is. That's what we need to hit. Okay, let's drop down. Okay, we're good. Now just drain the water out of this room. We need to hit this a couple of times. There we go. Okay, we've drained the water. Uh, problem is, is that we have to kind of make the journey back up onto the train tracks. Ooh, we can use this right here. Come on. No, I missed it. Shoot. Oh, man. Now we have to make it daytime once again. Okay, we've made it up the ladder. We made it back to the train tracks. Now we just need to make our way back into the room that holds the guitar. So let's drop down here, and then let's drop off of this roof. Okay, very safely. Thank you. Okay, we made it back to the vault, and this should hold our beautiful guitar. There it is in all of its glory. Okay, grab the guitar. Now we need to set up all the objects on this pressure plate. I don't remember exactly how they were arranged. Oh gosh, guitar, please. There was a pillow, right? We put a pillow over here, and then we need the skateboard. The skateboard was kind of in front of the cabinet, I think. Something like that, that should work. And then the hat, right? The hat was over here. Put the hat on top of the shelf, sure. Was there anything else? A basketball, maybe? I don't actually remember. We'll put a basketball up there regardless. Now, let's check 
to see if that gate is open. Oh gosh, no, no! It is open, which is great, great news. But uh, we kind of missed the jump. Let's see if we can get back to the train tracks. Oh my gosh, I messed it up again. Okay, so we're back on the train tracks. We should be able to jump from the train tracks to the generator, and then we can finally turn off the generator, and we should be in a pretty good spot if we can pull this off. We can unfreeze the key card, and then we can go and grab the crowbar, and we should be able to open up the basement. I gotta tell you though, this challenge, it's a real challenge. Where is that generator? I feel like I'm just going around in circles. There it is. No, 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 no! <laughs> Why? Why? It is so hard to gauge where you're actually standing. That's why I keep falling off of stuff. And sure enough, I fell off the train tracks. Okay, let's try this again. Please don't jump off the train tracks before you line up your jump. No, don't jump off the train tracks. Okay, be mindful that the train might show up at any moment. I just need to line up this jump and go for it. There we go, yes, yes. Turn off the generator, turn it off forever. Is it off? Yes, it's off. Red light means off. Okay, now let's go down to the kitchen and let's open up the freezer. Please don't die. Ugh. There's the neighbor hanging out in his front yard. Where's he gonna go? He's probably gonna go in through his front door, isn't he? Oh no, he's going around the side? Okay, that's different. All right, so let's go in through the front door. I think we're gonna get hit with a water bucket. Let's see if we can creep through this little crack though. <laughs> That's awesome, we made it, okay. All right, it's thawing out. It's almost there. Not quite done thawing. Come on, key card, hurry up. I do not have all day. The neighbor is going to come back eventually. Please, de-thaw faster. Ooh, where is he? Still hasn't come back yet. Okay, is it done? It's so close. Yes, we got it. Okay, we have the key card. Let's just hit this. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Okay, now we just need to go and grab the crowbar, which is upstairs. We just need to get back to the room with the no gun sign. Yes, there it is. Okay, crowbar, are you waiting for me? There you are, you beautiful crowbar, yes. Okay, let's drop back down. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay, I don't see the neighbor right now. Let's equip the crowbar. Go ahead and take these nails off. Come on, get those guys off. Get this chair out of the way. All right, get back to our crowbar. Crowbar, we need our crowbar equipped. Okay, there we go. Yes, open, please, please, last nail. Yes, yes, go, 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 go. Yes, we've done it. We completed the tiny man challenge after a lot of trial and tribulation. I gotta tell you, that was not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Being the size of a beetle makes life hard. That's what I've learned from playing the tiny man challenge. It ain't easy being a bug. Welcome back to Hello Neighbor, created by none other than Video Game News. If I go over to the neighbor, you can see I actually have this one already selected. Wanted to make sure that it was working. Look at all the choices. We have basically every single crewmate from Among Us. Black, blue, brown, cyan, forte green? What? Gold, green, lime, orange, pink, purple, rainbow? Of course, red, tan, white, and yellow. I really want to see what rainbow looks like. So let's head into act one, I guess, with a rainbow among us crewmate as our neighbor. Extremely sus. All right, so I need to get close enough to the house and then that triggers the cutscene, and then we should see the among us dude here, right? Like, there he is! He's so colorful! <laughs> I kinda love that. I wish that that dude was in the real Among Us game. Maybe he is, maybe it's like a secret that you can unlock, I don't know. I don't have Rainbow Among Us dude, but I like Rainbow Among Us dude. Where are you at? Let's, let's check this guy out. This does seem like the kind of television that an Among Us crewmate would watch. Right? It's a little creepy seeing him laugh though. <laughs> I don't know if I, I can approve of that. I don't like seeing Among Us crewmates laughing like that. That dude's definitely an imposter. Hey! Oh, he saw me. He saw me, he's coming after me. I need to hit the emergency meeting button real, real fast. I don't know if that's the way it works, but I'm gonna throw a trash can at our Rainbow Among Us buddy. Whatcha? 
Got him. <laughs> he just goes, ah! He also shot a tomato at me from his face. Can you do that again, please? That was, that was very cool. Please, do it. Oh, oh, he's doing his imposter stretches. Always got to stretch before you eat your fellow crewmates and betray them. That's what I've always said. Where are you going, Rainbow Imposter? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're okay. You're going to the kitchen. You're going to cook up a, a delicious meal of your fellow crewmates. I'm on to you, dude. All right. Oh, this is kind of scary. Is he in the bathroom? Oh, my goodness. He's using the bathroom and I'm going to interrupt him. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, Didn't realize he was standing right on the other side of the door. I thought he was using the toilet. Let's change the color, though. I want to see the other colors. Let's go to red. I mean, that's the classic sus color. Oh, I see your little imposter head through the window. It's so weird seeing them like this. This is a really cool mod, though. I really feel like it fits so well into, like, the Hello Neighbor aesthetic. It just, it looks really, really good. I mean, you've even got, like, the black outline around the character that just... Looks perfect. VGN did a really good job with this one. I gotta say, should we actually try to beat Act 1? I mean, that would be a feat in and of itself because it's been such a long time since I've actually played Hello Neighbor. Let's see if we can figure it out while Red roams around and figures out different ways to eat us, which is very upsetting. Right, I need to flip the switch over here. And then, and then I need to, to run. We use like the bowling ball to, to make the lift go up. And then you get into that room and then you get the key that you need. But there's still a lot of steps that we need to follow before we get to that point. I need a key. Doesn't the neighbor have a key around his belt or something like that? Oh, he's in here. Oh, okay. May maybe. Let's see. Let's see if we can. May maybe. Nope. Okay. He, he doesn't have a key. It's inside of his suit. That's cheating. We can climb on top of the roof, right? We can use this bookshelf to get up there. Oh, but we need boxes. That's right. Let's grab some boxes for stacking. And let's sneak into the Among Us dude's house. Okay, we need a two stack of boxes. Yes, just like that. Perfect. Get on top. There you go. Get on the roof. Amazing. I haven't completely lost it. And then we need to jump across here. Oh, so skilled. And then you crack open this window, you get inside, and Bob's your uncle. I don't, I don't know exactly what that saying means, but apparently Bob is your uncle. And then we remove this plant painting. Yeah, I haven't completely forgotten how to play this game. Oh, and this gives us access to the trunk, right? And then we can do one of these. I think that, does that open the door downstairs? No. This opens the door, the secret door. Okay. This lever just powers the fan so that you can do the bowling ball thing. So let's try that out. Oh no, let's not try that out. You know, change of plans. Let's go open the trunk and we get the crowbar from here. No, the magnet gun. Okay. I use the magnet gun to get uh, the crowbar, I guess. But isn't there a lock pick? Yeah, give me the lock pick. That's what we really want. And then we use the lock pick to go into the closet room. And then we get the wrench. And that gives us access to the roof. And then we win. I'm pretty sure we win with this. I have opened the ladder to the roof. I have made it. I got the red key. The dream. Remove the chair. Bust out this window and jump out the window for heroic effect. I don't know where he is right now, but there you go. Uh, we can go into the basement now, but I actually don't want to do that. I was just testing my Hello Neighbor knowledge, making sure that I haven't completely lost it. And I'm proud to say that it's not all completely gone. But with that said, there are still some more fun things that we can do with this little Among Us creature. And of course, it involves everybody's favorite mod, the command menu by Greenhouse M13. I absolutely love this thing. And I think it got updated since the last time we actually played the game. So now we have like this, this whole menu here where you can get object info and then clone the objects just by clicking that button. How does that work? I kind of want to try it. Magnet gun. 
you're going to be my first experiment. Congratulations. So first, I think I get the object info. Okay, yeah. And then I can enable a hotkey to clone this guy. Oh, I made a clone. Oh, I made another clone. Oh, that's incredible. That is so amazing. All I have to do is press a button and it clones the object. Okay. I can also change the size on the fly. So anybody want a giant magnet gun? Oh, I've made an awesome mistake. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Uh, can I clone a giant magnet gun? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh goodness. That seems like uh, too much power. Oh, oh, look at that. Look, I'm cloning from the clone. <laughs> that is amazing. So now that we've got some giant magnet guns just kind of hanging out in the neighborhood, let's mess around with our little Among Us jelly bean friend. And actually, I think we should change up his color. Let's go with orange. Orange is always the color that I play in Among Us. So why not troll my character a little bit? I wonder if our giant magnets are still going to be laying around. Oh, this is not where I want to be. I'm sad to report that the magnets are no longer giant, but they are still kind of laying around. But I want to try changing the size of our little Among Us buddy. Oh, there he is. He's extremely angry. I don't know if it's because he thinks I'm sus or because I think he's sus. Either way, no one trusts anyone in this neighborhood. You think with this new found cloning ability, we can actually clone the neighbor? That's always broken the game, but I think it's worth trying. So I have clearly selected Among Us Orange. Let's enable the clone hotkey. Let's also try making him small. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, I turned him upside down. Okay, that's a little interesting. Can I manually change the size of the object? No, you can't change it. It changes it by one for every time you press the plus or minus. But we could use the command, right? We could use the command to get like decimals, fractions. So we could make him smaller. But if we make him zero, he, he literally disappears. Let's keep him as normal size and just try this cloning thing. This seems scary. <gasps> there's, there's two. Uh, uh okay. Yep. That's a thing. Um, th they're not moving though. Oh, fatal error. <laughs> I will say though, that was pretty awesome. We had clones for a brief moment and then the game blew up. Still very cool. All right, since the game crashed, why don't we change up the color here? Let's go with the blue among us, man. And let's just go to a fresh act one that doesn't have giant magnets all over the place. All right, so as you can see, we have our little blue Among Us man. Get away from me. You get away from me. I know what you're trying to do. You're gonna kill me and then blame someone else for it. I'm on to you, blue. But now let's change up his size. And like I mentioned, if we use the command neighbor size, we can do like fractions, which means we can make him smaller without making him disappear. So for instance, I can do 0.5, right? Oh, he's so cute! And that seems like the appropriate size for an Among Us jelly bean person. What are you doing? What are you do- you- you're not scary, you're just adorable. Actually, you're terrifying. I- I know what you're capable of. Open up that mouth and shoot a tongue spike into your face. That would be incredible if those animations were in the game, but I imagine that is incredibly difficult to do. But let's make him even smaller! Let's go point two. He's gonna be real tiny. He's gonna be a real tiny Among Us boy. Where are you at? Oh gosh, it's scary. When they get smaller, they still move the same speed that they were when they were normal size. So it looks like they're moving way faster. Let's make them even smaller. How about 0.1? He's <laughs> so little. Oh, he threw a giant tomato at me though. He might be little, but he's still very strong like an ant. We can go even smaller though, because we can do tenths of a decimal. So like, for instance, we can do 0 0.05. He's like a little speck. How about 0 0.01? Oh, oh, where is he? Oh no, I, I hear him. He's, he's definitely walking 
on the wood somewhere, but he he might actually be too small for us to to actually see him. Oh, we're close though. We are close. You think he can catch me? Oh, he's so little! <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. But you guys know the drill. We made him super tiny, like the size of a flea. Now we need to make him super giant. So I think we can do that fairly easily using this little menu we have on the side. So first things first, let's bring him back to normal size. There he is. He's in the kitchen. Oh, he, he fell asleep. I didn't realize that Among Us imposters need sleep. But let's get the object info. No, that's the sofa. That's not the one I want. I want the Among Us man. Get him? Among Us Blue, we've done it. Hopefully if I get caught, it doesn't reset that. Let's see. No, it doesn't. We're good. So now uh, we can just change his size by pressing this plus. <laughs> you can see he got way bigger. I think I want to lure him out of the house first, though, because if you make him big inside of the house, he just gets stuck. Hey, imposter, I know what you're up to. Oh, oh, that that's an aggressive way of getting out of your house. Wait, what are you doing, man? Come come back. Here, get me. I threw my lawnmower at you, and you can't stop me. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, the madness begins. Plus one. Okay, uh, I don't like how he's stuck in the ground. Oh good. Okay, so I think if we do it one at a time and Then leave the menu. He'll pop up out of the ground. Oh my goodness. That's kind of terrifying. He's jumping. I don't like it. Oh Wow, okay going to six Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, right. This is the thing that happens when you turn the neighbor into a giant He just starts hopping. He's a hoppy boy. O okay. I mean, it's it's kind of cute. <laughs> it looks like he's skipping. <laughs> All right, let's make him even bigger. Let's see, 15? Is that too big too soon? No, he popped up. All right, let's go 20. It's glorious. Uh, we need to go into ghost mode so that we can follow this guy because he's just going to keep on jumping. <laughs> what a weird thing to see. Just over the top of the trees is a giant Among Us jelly bean man. All right, let's make him even bigger. Let's go to 30. Yeah, I love how easy this is too. This is so cool with this new menu. Let's go 50. Let's go 40 first. Yeah, yeah, did, did move a little bit slower. Is he stuck in the ground? He might actually be stuck. That's not good. We need to reverse what we've done. So go back to 30. He's a little wonky, it's to be expected. Let's go way down, okay. You're okay now, right? You're out of the ground. I'm very happy for you. So I'm gonna take it just a little bit at a time, maybe like in increments of five. That, that seems smart. 30, sure. He, he seems stuck. I think he's more stuck in the houses than he is in the ground, which is too bad. Let's see what happens if we take him back to his, his original size. What's he doing? He just, he just fell down and he's still just jumping. He's still jumping a lot. Just having a great time. <laughs> what a weird thing. All right, you know what? Let's just go all the way. He's already super broken. So let's just do the command neighbor size and let's go to 100. Just see what happens. Oh, oh. I've made a terrible mistake, but it's also a beautiful mistake. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Yep. That... That is a very large blue Among Us man who is also kind of stuck in the ground. Can we bring him back? Can we save this man? Or just make him larger? Why not just make him larger? I mean, that's always an option, right? 150? Goodness. Oh, the game's gonna crash. Look at this picture book. We're getting like half a frame per second right now. It's not looking good. But he's looking good. He's looking massive. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. So good. Okay, I think the time has come. Let's just actually try to break the game. So let's go to 300. This is a terrible idea. Yep. Checks out was definitely a terrible idea. 
Welcome back to Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. So today's episode is actually going to be a little bit different than the previous episodes of Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. Actually, what we're going to be doing is going back to some of the cutscenes from the game because I'm pretty sure that I missed something and it seems really important. I've seen screenshots of what I'm alluding to and um, yeah, I don't really know how I missed what anyways we're gonna be going through all of the cutscenes in the game so let's do this all right so this is the opening cutscene we've seen this many many times one of the things that's most notable about all of the cutscenes in hello neighbor hide and seek is that you never actually see the mom's face you never see her face you know that she's there you know she exists you hear her and all that fun stuff but you never actually see her however i have seen that there is footage out there with like her whole face so that's really what i'm looking for that's the main thing that i'm looking for but i love this intro everybody's happy they've moved into their new house and all that fun stuff and of course they're gonna play games and this is where it takes you into the savari land where you hunt down stuffed animals now wait a second what is this i don't think i've seen this Okay, how did I miss this? What? What's happening? Oh, you know what this is? Okay, I got it. This, these are like um, his little hints. So I guess there's a cutscene in every single level that uh, points you to where you're supposed to go. Like what you're supposed to do. Gives you a little little hint of, of what's supposed to happen next. And I think after that cutscene, it'll have like an arrow pointing to wherever you're supposed to go next. So I didn't see that on the first level because I am just so good at the game, you know? I mean, <laughs> I'm a professional hello neighbor hide and seeker. We're going to the Olympics. Here we come. Okay, so that takes us to the very end of act one. And there you go again. There's mom, no face, just from the neck down. That's all you get to see. It's very frustrating. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. I mean, it. we've seen her face before. Like, we've seen her in that picture that was in Hello Neighbor. Like, why? what's the big secret? What's the deal? I don't get it. So now, of course, the kids are playing cops and robbers. This brings us to act number two. And uh, it's always fun, you know. I mean, this was this was actually cool because um, the first time we saw this was in the mobile version of the game, where they like did a beta test and they released the second act, which was kind of surprising and actually pretty cool. So we got a little sneak preview of Act Number Two. Oh, oh, Th see, okay, this I didn't see this either because once again, professional Hello Neighbors hide and seeker Olympics. 2034. I don't even know if that's an Olympic year, but that's where we're going, where we're heading. By the way, this video that we're watching, this is from Video Game News. They basically took all of the cutscenes and they just put them all together. Very convenient. I will have a link in the description down below so you can check out this video. I'm sure you've already seen it. You've probably already seen it. it has like a million views. So anyways, we're we're just we're going to use it to get, go through everything. <laughs> I want to make sure that I that whatever I miss is supposed to be in here. So obviously, the end of act 2, right? Parents are gone. Where's mom and dad? Don't know. Going to give them a phone call. I think this is the beginning of act Three. So the first time we saw this cutscene was the first time that we played the full version of Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. And uh, it just it gets sadder and sadder from this point on. So of course they're going to play uh, firefighters and, and he's going to light himself on fire. No, don't do that, Aaron. Don't do that. Just pretend catch yourself on fire. So here we are in, in Burning City. Now I did see this and this was the first kind of like hint cutscene that we saw right cuz uh, cuz I couldn't figure out how to get through this level this, this level probably my least favorite from from the game it was just it was weird it, the, the way that things were laid out just didn't quite make sense it wasn't very intuitive wasn't my favorite level I liked the look of it I liked kind of the way it all worked and everything but just the actual puzzles themselves wasn't a big fan so here we are uh, whoa I, I must have missed that. So th they were obviously, they were they were playing, but this is where dad comes home and he's got mom's purse. And it's just so sad. Why are we reliving this? No, we must do it to understand more deeply 
We need to connect with the neighbor. We need to understand the psyche of his mind. What caused him to go mad? Well, I mean, a lot of things, honestly. I mean, you really have to read between the lines with, with a lot of the story elements of this game. But if you piece everything together, it's pretty obvious what happened, right? Mom, dad, got in a car accident. I, I, because that's based on like the original Hello Neighbor. We see that whole scene. If you guys don't remember, there is like a dream sequence in the first act of Hello Neighbor when you get caught by the neighbor and you're walking down the hallway and you can kind of see like the neighbor is like, come on, let's go. We're having a great time. Let's go for a trip. And so he jumps into the car, obviously like with his wife, although she's not really shown in the game. And then you walk down that hallway a little bit further and you look over and you hear a big crash boom and you see the neighbor crying next to a crashed car. So that's where we get this whole idea that, you know, mom died in a car accident and the neighbor was driving, which is really something else. Actually, I, we got to rewind here a little bit. L listen, just so Aaron's mad and something just broke. I don't know if that was Aaron like breaking a window or something. Are we going to go in there and find see the windows not broken. So what if that was dad? What if that was the hello neighbor uh, downstairs like breaking glass or I don't know. I mean, at this point in the story, dad is just kind of given up. Like, it's so sad. He's he's just, he's a broken man, a broken soul, but he's still got his kids. He's got to take care of his kids, but he's just, he's so sad for losing his wife. It's just, man, what a, what a bummer. And then Aaron, of course, starts being a big jerk. <laughs> just, he's a bully, man. He's such a mean head. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, what is this? Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's the cutscene you get when you call for the crow to come and get you. I didn't use that ever in the fourth level, so I never really saw that. But here we go. We're leading up to the final cutscene of the game, which is heart wrenching. But I'm I'm hoping that there's like something here, cause cause I'm I'm telling you guys, we've definitely missed something, and I. I haven't quite seen it yet. There was some cutscenes that I that I definitely missed while playing through the game, like those those hint ones. But where's the the one? The one that I'm looking for. There is one. I don't I don't see it yet. Gosh. Also, where's their actual food? I've noticed that they sit down for a lot of meals, but they never actually eat anything. What's wrong with these people? I don't understand them. Okay, Act Five. This is where I'm hoping that things change up a little bit. Actually, you know what's interesting? So you see how Aaron's hiding under the blanket like that? There is an object in the original Hello Neighbor. And I honestly just thought about this. And it looks just like this. It's a blanket on the top bunk of a bunk bed. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. And if you look at the right angle of that blanket, you see eyes. Like, like glowing eyes peeking out of the opening in the blanket? Is this like alluding to, to Aaron or is, is Aaron in the house? I don't know. We, d we still don't know what happened to Aaron. Hi, gosh. Okay, well anyways, enough of that. So, you know, this, he's gonna take the doll and we all know where this is heading. Spoilers, by the way, spoiler alert. I should have done that at the beginning of the video, but hopefully you guys have already seen all this stuff. You know what we're, what we're getting into. I, I think you do. Oh man, why am I doing this? I don't, I don't like this. Yep, yep, this is the very beginning of Act 5 and then you make your way up to the top of the house. Oh, that's what happens when you call the crow. I didn't do that either. Whoa, that's interesting too. Okay, so there's like two different crow picking up Maya animations. There's one when she's inside. You can kind of see she's like kneeling down. She's just sad. Crow picks her up. Here, let's watch it again because it was kind of cool, honestly. Here we go. So she's just, yeah, she's kneeled down. The crow picks her up. But then there's a different one for when she's outside and it looks like she's falling. And the crow like literally caught her while she was falling. Okay, so obviously I was, I was procrastinating because I know what's coming next. I, I know this part. Oh, I know it all too well. And I, I don't want it. Oh, gosh. 
Oh. And then here, here it comes. Here it comes. Ah! <laughs> Why? Every time. It's like the beginning of a Disney movie. It's just some kind of tragedy always has to happen. <laughs> so sad. Really is. I, I laugh because otherwise I'll cry. So, yeah. Ending cutscene. Um, there's still like a minute left on this video. I'm really hoping that there's something new in here that we did not see. I'm not seeing it though. It's still not happening. We're still falling. They really, really drive it home with. Yes, we know. Maya is falling. It's. We get it. It's very slow motion. Thank you. Fade to black. Please save me. And. That's it? That. Th this is the ending cutscene, and the neighbor is is digging what I assume is a grave for his daughter. Where are the police in all of this? Uh, like, what is? Did he? Okay, I didn't even think about this initially the the first time we watched this because I was so like flabbergasted by what had just happened. But the neighbor is is burying presumably his daughter in his backyard. That's a little weird. That's just like actually a lot weird. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You can also see the shoe in the foreground right there. There's there's my shoe. Blah. I think that's it. I think that is the end of all the cutscenes for Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek that are actually in the game. Huh. Okay, guys, so I did a little research and I have discovered that the cutscene that I was looking for is not in the actual game, which begs the question, why? Now you might be wondering why I'm so upset. Let's just, let's watch this cutscene together and, and maybe you'll understand why I feel so cheated by, and, and keep in mind, this is the trailer for the game. And this almost gives us more information than all of the cutscenes in the actual game. And yeah, that was my high-pitched angry voice. And it got real weird. Real fast. I'm sorry. I'm rolling up my sleeves for this one. Oh boy. Sleeves are rolled up. Let's do this. Yeah. Right there. Right off the bat. Like five seconds into the cutscene. There's mom. There's her face. What a delightful Family, actually, you're looking at this. This is the picture. This is the picture that you find in Hello Neighbor, which is actually pretty awesome. I That makes me really happy. Now, we're going to watch a lot of things happen. They're moving into their house. Life is good. Life is great. Also, really like the jam playing in the background. It's like a remixed Hello Neighbor song. It's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, life. And, and there's mom. You know, mom being a great mom. Being a great wife, she seems like a wonderful lady, by the way. Like, the neighbor, he scored. He scored. He found himself a wonderful, wonderful lady to spend his life with. Did you see that? That was adorable. Hold on. Hold on. Look at her. Look at her. Look at, she, she's she's doting on him. She, she loves him so much, and, and he loves her. Oh, my gosh. This is heartbreaking, actually, knowing what's going to happen. There was a... There, I love this. Look at her in the background. Oh, they're adorable. They are adorable. I think she comes up to, oh yeah, she's, she totally came up to him. Hold on, hold on. Let's see if we can rewind this. We're going to do frame by frame. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Look at her. Saying hi. She's going to give, yeah, you get a little, little, little tap on the head. There you go. That's all you get though, neighbor. That's all you're going to get. All right. And now. Buh! Whoa. By the way, this is like a really well done trailer. But again, like car accident. Uh-huh. And obviously wife right there. There you see her shoe flying through the air. I'm pretty sure they are upside down at this point in time. Yeah. Okay. And in the hospital. Gosh. Oh, and the, the hospital bed rolls by and now he's back in the house being a very... Very sad man. There's Maya in the background. Look at all the information that we're getting from this trailer that is a minute and 25 seconds long. What the heck? W where was all of this info in the actual game? This trailer is kind of awesome, 
but also very sad. And, and so it's like it's like the birth of the neighbor. He grabs his shovel, his weapon, if you will. And then the ice cream truck rolls by. I don't know if that means anything. This trailer is super cool and also like really sad. And also where was all this stuff in the final game? I just find it really ironic that the game, which was a complete game that we played through from beginning to end, had cutscenes in it that you kind of had to like interpret, right? You had to kind of like figure out, read between the lines. But then they release a trailer, and by the way, this trailer came out the day that the game came out. I just completely missed it because I was so caught up in the game. I never saw this. This trailer gives you more story elements than all of those cutscenes that we just watched from the actual game. And I'm, I mean, we get to see the mom. We get to see her being a mom, being a wife, being a wonderful, wonderful woman that assuming that he was gonna grow old with and uh, didn't get that opportunity. And man, that's sad. That it just, it just, it makes the characters come to life in a way that they didn't exactly do in the in the game. Does that make sense? It kind of bums me out. I mean, I've always felt for the neighbor, especially as we learned more and more about him and about his past, but he's still kind of like a blank, just slate, right? Like this is kind of the look that you get in the Hello Neighbor games. But in this trailer, you get so many different emotions from the neighbor. I mean, like, look at how happy he is. That's a dude who's living the dream. He's having a great life. Look, he's moving. He loves his kids. He loves his wife. He loves his life. He's making phone calls like a like a good dad should. It, I mean, it's just it, we get to run the whole gambit of, of his emotions and we go from happy to super depressed to kind of like psychopath which is fascinating. And they do all that in a minute and 25 seconds, which never happens in the actual games. So you can probably understand my, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say it's anger. It's, it's really not. Maybe my frustration, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Probably doesn't even describe it that well either, because honestly, I really liked Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. I thought it was a very fun game. And I, I thought the cutscenes were good. Like they, they told a, a good story. They just, they didn't tell it good enough, I guess. I know it's never good enough, right? So yeah, this was the cutscene that I didn't see. And it technically wasn't really a cutscene. It was actually a trailer, a really, really awesome trailer. <laughs> Bye crazy neighbor. It was fun to see you again.